Hey guys, and welcome back to Threads where life moves fast, and I move slow on the video editing and making sight. <laughs> oh, I'm, I really ought to pick up the pace, but welcome back to Threads. I should also mention that uh, I have a heater running in my room at 70 degrees, and I'm currently still bundled up in my room because you gotta love the tank and cold part of fall, but welcome back to Threads, where I've been absent. Specifically, welcome back to Threads episode 14. It's been a busy life, to be honest. I, it's, it's been really busy, and I've been pretty on the busy side, so videos have been coming out slow. I know this for a fact, because the last video, I think, came out episode 13. will be going live on November 1st, and the video before that came out late September, so it's been pretty slow, but I'm back. And we're back to make threads. Hopefully this won't be out before Christmas. <laughs> it pro I don't know if it'll be out before Thanksgiving. But, you know, happy late Halloween. Happy late Thanksgiving, I guess, as well. Probably Thanksgiving. I don't know. I don't know. Welcome to Threads episode 14. You know, let's, let's just cut the bullshit and let's hop right into it. Today on Threads episode 14, we're back on X. No comment. Thread title is Strange Man I've Spotted During Night Walks by Man named Vin. The thread was posted on Thursday, 21st of May, 2020 at, it looks like 912 about. Thread number is 2503309. I go for night walks a few times every week between the hours of 2 and 4 a.m. I've been doing this for over a year at this point. My town is generally smaller, so there's not much happening at night. That's a strange time to go walking. Like, really strange. Like, you go walking at 2 and between 2 and 4 a.m. and you don't expect the spook shit to pop off? Like, come on, dude. Since last summer, I've seen the same man wandering around town during my night walks. He usually comes around 3 to 4 a.m. There's also some incredibly, something incredibly strange and creepy about this guy. Hey, maybe he's, he's probably just like you then. <laughs> he's like, he's probably just like you. He just He's a weird dude that goes walking around. Like, he's incredibly strange. Can you say any different? You go walking at 2 and 4 a.m. Although admittedly, I'd probably do that too, to be honest. But I don't, I don't have the time to. But moving on, he's really big, at least six foot four and three hundred plus pounds. Man, that's a thick boy, and he looks to be in his forties. He walks in an odd way, stilted. He takes one step forward with his arm half raised, freezes for a second, and takes the next step forward with the other arm raised. Seems robotic. He never stares straight forward. He's always got his head arched at unusual angles. At certain times, he'll have his entire head tilted completely backward and staring at the sky. Other times, he'll have his head completely tilted downward, staring at the ground. Exact same time while doing the stilted walk. He legit looks like a fucking zombie while doing this. At certain times, he'll just stop walking and freeze in his exact spot for minutes before continuing again. His walking seems completely aimless. He has no direction, just wanders all around the streets and yards, etc. He appears to have zero sense of of what's happening around him. I saw him walking on a road once and he almost got hit by a semi truck. He didn't even appear phased and kept on walking like nothing happened. I don't know man, maybe he's getting blasted every night cause you know drunks have, well if he's if he's able to walk straight they'd be kinda different but if he's just walking aimlessly he might be just drunk. If, if almost getting hit by a semi doesn't phase him he's probably blasted. The thing is I've seen this man everywhere on my nightly walks. It's fucking weird. This man lurks around every part of my neighborhood. There's something really fucking unnerving about him that makes my gut be like get the fuck away. I never actually walked up close to him or confronted him. Why would you confront Nah. The first times I've seen him, it was easy to think he was drunk, but the more I see him, the more I'm convinced there's something more serious going on. What the fuck is up with this guy? What's his endgame or purpose doing? <laughs> What's his endgame or purpose of doing this? Like, like, does he have to have, does he have to have an endgame? <laughs> like, or a purpose? He just fucking does it, but I'm glad to see that he mentioned that he, uh, mentioned that he's not drunk. He is. That was my initial theory, but I guess he's just gonna crush that. You could always go up to him and say hi. You've never seen him go under a streetlight or something? If you're afraid to do it alone, get some friends and get in his face. Kind of sounds like some otherworldly creature in a human costume. Why would you get up in his face, dude? Chill out. If he wants to do a goddamn zombie walk around his, the city, just leave him alone. And yeah, like he said, go talk to him. Like, what the hell is the... You're just gonna speculate about this guy and go and talk to him. I forgot to mention there's a photograph. I don't know if it has the guy in it. It doesn't really appear so... I've seen him close up a few times under a lighted area so I know what he looks like. He didn't seem to acknowledge me. It's kind of fucking creepy though. He has a really unpredictable vibe to him. I don't 
know what confronting him would do. I've never done it in the past. Maybe just for the sake of it, if I see him again, I would. He could be a mental patient, might be in custody of some folks, or he could be an escapee of some local asylum. Wouldn't be the first time, I should say. If you choose to make contact, be sure to have both an escape route and a way to defend yourself. Who knows what someone like this is capable of? I could see that, honestly. I think a big part of why he would be risky to confront or get close to is mostly his size. He's a really huge guy. Combine that with the weird, unpredictable behavior and he could be dangerous. Can't even follow 300 pound man fucking thread. It would take a lot of time, that's the thing. I've noticed him walking in loops or straight up freezing in one place. Following him wouldn't really be hard, obviously, but more tedious considering he doesn't walk in directions. So responding to, he could be a mental patient. Coming back to his thread, this is the speculation I agree the most with. For whatever reason, the facility or people in his care let him wander the streets very late at night. Who knows, the guy might even sneak out and go for late night strolls. After posting this thread yesterday, I went for a walk around the area and he frequents at around 3 or 4 a.m. just to see if he was out. Didn't see him maybe another time so in reply to i've seen him up close a few times he might have a mental illness and possibly a movement disorder i knew a patient once when i was a kid practically growing up in the hospital for a mystery illness the woman was someone who couldn't put her head in certain ways and the re rehabilitation therapist basically told me it was a condition from brain damage but she made a lot of progress maybe talk to the guy worst case scenario you got your knife in your edc best case a dirt dude turns out to be an eldridge warlock and you bond with him and one day he transcends the moral plane and leaves you his grimoires and alchemy equipment. Next thing you know, you're tearing up over a handlit written letter tucked in the vellum pages, or you're tearing up. I'm sorry I had to leave Anon. My physical form could no longer contain me and I had to ascend. I left you everything you need to know. You need to pick up where I left off. And just like that, your adventure begins. I, th I thought it was like tearing up, like riding the, <laughs> riding the page, like he's riding on the page. I'm such an idiot. I would stay inside and lock the fuck out of my house. There's a reason why the Native Americans don't fuck around or answer the door when these things are out. Classic skinwalker description, if, if anything. Although I've never heard of a fat one. God damn it, it's another skinwalker thread. I thought we got away from this. What, what episode was that? 10... No, not 10. It was a lot earlier. I can't remember. I'll put which one that was, but there was... Well, actually, there was two instance, instances of quote-unquote skinwalker threads. I think one of them was episode 10 maybe i can't remember don't see why there couldn't be one but if it was a skinwalker it probably would have attacked him by now i'm gonna go with erratic weirdo i don't know man 3 or 4 a.m is like when weird shit happens when i stay up or wake up in the middle of the night i'd stay in after like midnight yeah it's kind of like deadly deadly premonition where after midnight to 6 a.m just the whole world goes to shit and the, the zombies and the dogs and the red sky and everything the other world yeah i'd probably stay in i don't know i but i used to I don't know though. No, I used to, you know, I'm actually one of those weirdos too, but th this was like, um, oh god, how long ago was this when I used to do this? I used to go for midnight walks around my neighborhood about four years ago, I'd say. During the summer when Pokemon Go was big, I'd go for night walks around um, my neighborhood. I carry a knife, of course, because I was like, eh, you know, even if it was a nice neighborhood, but... Even if it was a nice neighborhood, you know, you gotta be kind of on your toes about walking around at night. But it's nice to go walking in the middle of the night because just no one's out. You can just kind of chill and just kind of feel the vibe. Also, during the summer, it's a lot cooler during the night as opposed to going walking during the day. When you go walking during the day, it's like 90 degrees. And when at night, it might be like high 70s, low 80s. Uh, maybe if you get lucky, you might luck out and get a mid 70s type of night. And then when I got in 20, like... Late 2017, I think, is when I went for midnight bike rides. This is completely unrelated. I'm just sharing my life for no reason. But anyways, moving on. That man is you, goddamn. So I reply to OP, follow it home. He posts a dog for whatever reason. His walking is so ragged that that would actually be really difficult to follow him, lol. lol. Bitch, please, you can follow it. It's hard to tell where I'd end up because there's a good chance if I follow him, I'll probably end up walking in slow, repetitive loops around the neighborhood and then maybe end up at some care home or a residence. Well, hey, you might as well figure it out right get to the bottom of this. this is paranormal get to the bottom conclude the story dude that's just your reflection bro goddamn oh my god goddamn they're actually like roasting them hardcore I actually i get it now saying that's just your reflection bro and that man is you they're kind of roasting them for being a 300 pound man well he goes for walks 
Well, I don't know. How much would you put six foot four three hundred or what was the description now? Six foot four three hundred. Now we're gonna look it up on a BMI calculator. Six foot three three hundred would be like ooh, thirty-six point five. That's like meh more super morbid obesity. I don't know, what would be normal BMI for six foot well actually I know what normal BMI is. It's push around one seventy I'd say. Yeah. You'd be hitting around normal weight. Unrelated. Everything, <laughs> a lot, half the time, these threads are just me saying this shit that's unrelated. So applying to OP, you probably had a stroke or something a while ago and has to walk funny now. Or uh, multiple sclerosis or something. He walks at night so people don't, won't be weird about him. Yet, here your faggot ass is. I guess I'm the only one seeing him in that case. It really is freaky though. Doesn't matter what happened to him. Seeing him weirdly pace around at 3 a.m. when nobody else is around is another experience for sure. Be me. Suffer so in reply to that, Beamy suffered a car crash eight years ago. Love of my life died. Our daughter too suffered permanent brain damages. Has to live off government checks. Can't have friends anymore. Perma fucked in this husk of a body I hate. Sleep through the day. Browse the computer a little bit before I can go for my night walk. The cool breeze in people's absence soothes me a little bit. Notice a really feminine looking boy following me around. <laughs> half fascinated, half spooked. Ignore him. I'm no circus beast. Get to back to my place after night walk before the sun rises. Browse X to take the edge off after. After all the shit that's happened to me, I might as well believe in dragons and ghosts. Some woman of a fuck nugget made a threat about me because I'm weird. The ride never ends at MP4. So I'm applied to, he probably had a stroke or something. Possibly could be this. The fact that he is chunkier might mean that he has a stroke, has trouble moving, gains weight, goes out only at nights. How come you haven't recorded a single video or taken a picture so far op didn't occur to me to take a pic or video of him plus it would be hard to get a good one considering how dark it was outside if i see him again i will at least try there was a guy who did this in columbia south carolina years and years ago haven't seen him in years i don't know about night walking but i had seen him in the day doing that in front of dent middle school which is on a main road i don't know why you dox yourself like that but okay well now op is scared of a old fat drunk and replied original lmao tell me what you do if you're walking around on a secluded street at 3 a.m. and see this giant guy coming in your direction walking like a zombie. Ask him out. <laughs> oh man. Ask him out. Well, I guess you're, we're different people, lol. I'd ask you out too if it makes you feel better. Man, this, these people, I love, I love X and I love 4chan. You saw former undisputed heavyweight champion Riddick Bow. I don't know who that is, but I watch wrestling, so. Sounds more like Andre the Giant, but I think Andre the Giant was heavier than um, 300 pounds, like by a massive margin. I don't know how heavy uh, Andre the Giant was. I don't know how tall he was either. Riddick Bow was, he's a uh, six foot five. Oh, he's a boxer. He's not WWE, he's a boxer. I don't know how I wouldn't know that. I'm a, I, uh, I indulge in boxing, so I don't know how I wouldn't know that. Now I'm gonna look up why Andre, what Andre the Giant was. He was seven foot four, holy shit. 520 pounds, all right, then he was a lot heavier than this guy. I go for night walks too, but I keep seeing this guy who does nothing but stare at me when I walk by. Now I'm a big guy, I'm six foot four, 320 pounds, <laughs> so I'm not easily threatened. Tried to cross the road to speak to him and almost got hit by a semi-truck. Took it as a sign and walked off. Probably for the best as this guy is a real weirdo. <laughs> oh, God. Now we're memeing on the OP, man. I'm a semi-truck driver and often drive overnight through the same towns. Every time I drive through this one town around 2 to 4 a.m., I see these same two guys, one bigger and one smaller. They freak me the fuck out. I almost hit one once. Are they just memeing on the OP now? Are they just fucking fucking with them now? Yep. All right. <laughs> oh, man. Probably some law type keeping an eye on you. What do you think, though? That's kind of like, that's insane dedication for, like, I don't know, an undercover cop or some shit. Sounds like a medical neurological condition. As one mentioned, stroke survivor or on strong medication that fucks up his motoric. I know a girl that got in a car crash and she hurt her brain in this accident. She now has tremors from the medication and she moves all stiff, lumping, and her head moves either weirdly smooth and then robotic. The thing with your story OP, everyone walking around town at three to four a.m. on a regular basis is a weird person no matter what he looks like. So have you ever considered the fact that this guy thinks you are strange for following him around every night? Yeah, like I said, it is. You're also the strange person if you're walking around at midnight. And like I said, hey, I'll admit, I'm a strange person, so yeah, doing nightly 
midnight bike rides and walks was pretty strange. It was nice though, Re like just really fucking quiet. It's nice. That's a very plausible theory and I could see it definitely. Also, no, I wasn't following him. He literally happened to be in the direction I was walking multiple times. Some nights I try avoiding routes that I might see him on and bam, there he would be. And eh, hard to say if he finds me strange because from what I can tell, he never actually noticed me. He thinks the same shit about you. He'd be thinking there's that little guy again. He's fucking everywhere I go. What a creepy little a freak it'd be amazing if there was like a parallel opposite thread to this that was from the perspective of the other guy i doubt there is but that'd be pretty incredible be me fittison but still an insult at heart fall for pole memes and move to a smallish town last summer frequently go on night walks there between 2 to 4 a.m also stargaze because the night star night sky is really beautiful with no big city lights to suppress it notice that some autists is also out at night the same time I am. He looks like he's scared shitless of something. Turns and speed walks away every time I sees me. What the fuck, R9K, am I really this ugly? Yeah, maybe he's a stargazer. The starry night can be a really beautiful thing some nights. I've actually caught myself sometimes just sitting on the my back deck, just staring up at the sky, just amazed because it's so beautiful. And you, you really can't get that in the city because of the light pollution, but I don't know if he'd really be a fittest in at 300 pounds that's more like obese like you you could have some muscle at 300 pounds but you'd still have like a lot of fat like a lot of fat i don't know if you could actually be like fit call yourself fit at six foot four 300 pounds well i ex exhibit the same behavior as this man in fact this describes me almost perfectly except maybe for the erratic walking patterns and a few other things if you talk to him he might get scared or just ignore you out of awkwardness that's what i do anyway i don't use drugs or anything like that it's possible he's just a spurg or something but it's also possible he's a drug addict or a dangerous person so i wouldn't walk talk to him desu unless you're ready to deal with that accidentally missed this one two days ago a great answer last point you made is accurate people keep saying oh he's just a harmless autist or something like that but still you can never fucking be sure i'm a lot smaller than him so i imagine he, if he flew into violence if i walked into him i'd be fucked he's really big at least six foot four and 300 plus pounds my mom used to order food from this one caterer later in our town she had a son who was a low functioning autist who's nonverbal. one time he got so out of control the family decided to call mental health services for assistance they showed up to their house and attempted to haul him off <laughs> into a van and said the two big guys ended up on their backs in their front on their front lawn low iq big and with the strength of two to three men i call these guys ogres the strange man you encounter reminds me of that lady's son based ogre tard wranglers can get fucked <laughs> retard revelers <laughs> oh my god dude I love this fucking website. Mental illness. We talk shit about our native schizos, but they are largely on the functioning side. My town has a notable halfway house right in the town square, and there are tons of these people who can't even walk right. One of them walks incredibly slowly, holding a cane, which looks like a wizard staff, all curled and woodsy, in front of him with his arms fully extended forward and vibrating. It's as if he thinks he's Moses parting the Red Sea, and he has the beard to complete the look. In my town, these people are all but rounded up at night and go back to the halfway house, but during the the day they're everywhere schizophrenia can rot your brain from the inside out when you go without treatment or even shelter for decades i can't even conceive of such a person using the internet so this is op right here lots of people saying he could be a drug addict or mentally ill which i could definitely see but here's something weird i've seen plenty of drug addicts and mentally ill people outside too acting in strange ways the thing about those types of people is that most of them look very unkempt too as in you can usually tell their state by looking at their appearance this wasn't the case with this guy though Though, it was weird because his appearance is actually seemed normal aside from his behavior. He didn't look unkempt or nothing. He had a normal haircut and also regular clothing as well. He'd frequently wear polo type shirts and shorts that alone doesn't disqualify him however it could mean he lives in the care of someone else who helps him and maintain also lets him go outside in the middle of the night dude he's sleepwalking actually i never considered that that's actually hot damn that's actually not a bad explanation sleepwalking maybe yeah this is a possibility for sure so some people go sleepwalk miles i wish i did that dude but also that'd be really creepy like uh yeah you get your cardio in your sleep dude you can just fucking cheat the system and do your cardio in your sleep your just body just does it for you at night but that'd be really fucking creepy i'm thinking i have a uh, garmin watch that tracks my steps and i usually keep track of my steps pretty uh i'd be creepy if i go to or creeped out if i go to bed at like what i usually do when it's like you know or i'd wake up and i'd see steps that weren't like 
Like, where the fuck did those come? Like, if I woke up and I saw, like, 2,500 steps, I'd be like, what the fuck is going on? Unless it's, like, when I, after a shift. Because I work till 1 in the morning, so I, I, I'll usually go home with 2,500 steps on my Garmin. But if it was one of my off days and I woke up and there's 2,500 steps, I'd be like, the fuck happened? Why don't you follow him? When you see him, hide yourself, let him pass and follow him in distance. Look where he lives and the next day ask for information in, at his neighborhood. I don't know, at that point, you're just as weird as him. If he, if, if he even is that weird and he's just not fucked up. Bartender walking home drunk. T drunk bartender. <laughs> now I'm thinking, are, do bartenders often partake in uh, drinking? Because it, it'd be kind of like a drug dealer. You'd want to, there's some drug dealers that sell and do their drugs. But I wonder how many bartenders do that. It'd be kind of like, wouldn't you want to sell but not do? Right? It's kind of, it'd be kind of like working in the casino business. I some, know some people in the, who work in casino and also gamble at casinos. Well, it's... In my mind, it's like one of those businesses where it's like you do and don't, you sell and don't do, really. I don't know. It's a weird thought. It is just a guy who would attract unwanted attention during the day because he was dealt a shitty hand in life. Leave him alone. Walking around in the middle of the night is completely legal and necessary for some people. Yeah, well, I've practically left him alone this entire time. Every time I'd see him, I'd either walk past him or walk a different way. No intentions of disrupting him or anything else like that. Just purely curious. He might be an untreated syphilitic. Completely fucks with the body if it's not treated. And yeah... They look like zombies when they shuffle in some pretty aggravated poses. Then again, it could just be meth. So people think it's either drugs or mental illness or some sort of uh, disease or just they just got fucked up. He's probably on a night walk like you because he has extreme social anxiety and is afraid of the daylight. Well, maybe not social anxiety. He clearly has no problem openly wandering around with no care in the world. If he had social anxiety don't you think he'd look a bit more wary the vibe i get from this man is that he really doesn't give a shit about what anyone thinks what a baller dude <laughs> you, do, you don't give a straight up he, he, he doesn't give a shit man that's that's baller shit man i want to be that man well i try to be anyways just don't give a shit really just be be that be that nigga man just don't give a shit so this is op all right, I'll try looking for some documented proof of him or another mention because I guarantee other people have seen him before. I'll check some community forums or neighborhood watches about my town to see if anyone else has discussed him. From time to time, there are other people outside around mine, his night walk time too. Some dog walkers or fellow night walkers, some crackheads or homeless, and then some asshole teens usually causing shit. I wouldn't be surprised if he's run into trouble before. Maybe someone else who has seen him tried fucking with him or something. Go say hi to him with a friend or to yeah maybe he is a lonely homeless dude with a disability i don't know bro maybe he needs it and that little positive note is how this thread ends off on last post was made on monday may 25th 2020 at 3 30 in the morning thread lasted for about three days and a couple of hours but that was the end of the thread for threads episode 14 this is a pretty chill thread to be honest i actually kind of like this one for a paranormal thread it isn't a spook thread or a larp thread or anything like that or anything particularly spooky but it is still pretty interesting to be honest and kind of more of a laid back type of thread and you know not every thread has to be an i am god thread or a red halls thread where it's kind of like this insane adventure or the same insane like arc or arg, or they're telling this crazy story. You can just have those laid back type of threads as well. And that's what this one is, and I, I like this one, so. But yeah, that was Threads episode 14. I enjoyed it quite a bit. This was, it was chill. I think one of the things is, you have these kind of intense threads, like I mentioned the two previous ones, and sometimes it's just nice to have a thread that's just kind of, you know, kick back, relax, read it. You don't have to have some crazy story to it or anything. These might not be the most interesting threads, but I still enjoy them personally, and I personally like this thread, but thank you very much for watching. Until next time, I'll see you. Stay chill.